Good day and welcome back to Sucker for Love First Day. So last episode, we met Lynetta's sister, Esther, and she tried to steal us away from our Squid Queen. Unfortunately for her, though, we stuck with it and we continued with Lynetta. Where we got the tr uh, true ending of this one of awakening Lynetta the second time, where she made it very difficult for us to do. That ending was incredibly sad to deal with, but it had to be how it was. Now, we're going to go jump back in to where the split was between picking Lynetta and picking Esther. And we're going to see how that plays out for us picking Esther now. So, let's jump on in. Alright, so we're at the first split. The first split, uh, we got to bring back in Esther. So, let's turn on all these lights, turn everything back on, and let's talk to Esther. Welcome back. Hey, Esther. Ooh. Don't What? All I did was say hello. Don't speak my name, dearest. There's a reason I am she who is not to be named. Uh huh. A mortal saying Esther summons me to them. That's actually pretty handy. If I can't say your name, what am I supposed to call you? You have many options. You may call me your majesty, <laughs> your grace, my king. This is already a pain compared to Lynetta. <laughs> You're feeling particularly subservient. Hmm. <laughs> Not gonna do that. Esther, Esther, Esther. <laughs> I would so do the same thing. Uh, no. How about never? All right, let's see this. Oh, masquerade. Backstage and enclosed room with a mirror. The host for scene two. Okay, apply masquerade mask. Adorn the elegant robes and the knife. Knife. And go back to the elegant robe. Uh, it said mirror. Do I have to perform this in the bathroom? Oh, no. Okay. I just need to look in the mirror. Okay, so there's nothing there. Look in the mirror. Oh! Oh, that stuck to my face, didn't it? All right, looks like everything's in place. I feel all goosied up. Even for me, this outfit's pretty loud. But even so, the beauty of this whole ensemble is out of this world. If Lynetta is showering here, I'd better meet with Esther in the other room. All I have to do is stand where the planet's light can reach me and... I already know what you're going to say, Your Highness. Yellow is more your color than mine, but I still look pretty good, right? You clean up well. I'm mm. impressed. Before my royal court in that. Promise? It's a pretty snug fit. The mask almost feels alive, like it's molding to fit my face perfectly. That's Quite pretty cool. Uh-huh. The uh -huh. face is molding to fit the mask. Excuse me? I feel a twist of metal digging into my temples. It's stuck to my face somehow. Ow, ow, ow. It really won't come off. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Deadly accuracy. From this point on in the play, your character never removes his mask. Oh no. So neither shall you. This surely shouldn't be a problem good. for someone who is planning to be my eternal servant. Correct. I can't even blink anymore. My eyelids are stretched to meet the indifferent metal of the eye holes. The mask and your face have become one. Your every pore is now gilt and gold. That's not good at all. This is... Will I have to wear this to work? When I see family? When I see Lynetta? Wait a minute. Those strange people outside, they all had masks stuck or stuck to them. Two, are they past followers who became Esther's servants? Is that, is that going to be my fate? Well, we're already in for a penny, in for a pound, bud. Let's uh get this show on the road, as they say. Oh! So apparently that's what happens if you go too fast. Let's uh, get back in there. Come on. Now if you mess up this time, I'm gonna be pissed. Welcome company much cherished. May my loneliness thus perish. To this evening we shall share, which would be wasted by myself. No attendants have arrived tonight, alas, besides thyself. But I'll be beside myself when the king reveals himself. Oh. 
<laughs> your bonus. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. I, I got you. One second, one second. Hold up. I gotta read my lines. Careful. Careful. Slow and steady wins the race here. Very careful. Yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance a whirling dervish while we feed our appetites. By the morrow, we shall know if the king came tonight. Midnight marks the final chime. Until that comes, there is still time. This is... That's not creepy at all. Okay. Okay, cool. Flaws all around. Black, black, black. Bravissimo. Bravissimo. There's only one more scene to reenact. Mm -hmm. And then this world will be mine. Well, that's good. I probably should have asked before we got to the final act, but this play isn't a tragedy, right? No, it's not. The ending is actually quite hilarious. Hilarious? Oh, that's actually a huge relief. What happens? My character is slain and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. Excuse me? In his ambitions of greed, influence, and fame, he dies penniless, alone, and infamous. Wait, my character dies? I'm gonna die? I thought you Nobody said... Oh my god, I accidentally clicked. Far enough away, Anger. Is she implying that she thinks my death would be funny? I get that she's an outer god, so human morals don't really apply to her, but that's gotta be cruel even for her. No way can I go through with that. Sorry, I don't want to die again. I anticipated that you might get cold feet after learning of your character's fate. Then why did you tell me? However, my wrath is terror far beyond a touch of stage fright. <laughs> so, for your sake, dearest, to the fucking king. Alrighty, Esther. Pulling out the F-bombs. Now what? Ingredients, red fire, king. Ingredients, red fire. King's in the room. Do not make a mistake or a hungry, invited, uninvited guest may arrive. Uh-oh. I am concerned. Yes, I believe this banquet will do nicely. The room is filled with a mouth-watering aroma of perfectly seasoned meat and fresh fruit. There must be a magical component involved here because I see no less than three of my favorite dishes. Esther is struggling to, or strutter, strutting towards my bed. Words. Surely you don't intend to merely watch me eat, dearest. I didn't think she was going to let me have any. Don't mind if I do. Uh, uh, that's not what I meant. Instead mm -hmm. of watching me eat this feast, you'll feed it to me. Okay, that's that's not what I expected or want to do. What was that? It sounded like groans of murderous anger from outside the door. Was that from the masked stalkers outside? If they've all got masks on their faces, they must be Esther's followers or even ex-partners. And their groans were of jealousy? <laughs> Makes sense. They've been locked outside all this time. I bet they'd kill for the chance to spend any time with Esther. Just a moment, dearest. What is the thread count of your silken sheets? Excuse me. 1, 000, I presume. Excuse me? It's probably like two. So, my blankets are cotton. Perhaps I'll just stand while you feed me instead. Okay, nothing's wrong with cotton sheets, alright? Silk is a little annoying sometimes. <laughs> so picky. She's that uppity. Maybe I'll start with the grapes? Something that'll feed her princess complex? Uh, mm -hmm. Delightful. I, I, I hate her so much more than Lynetta. I'm glad. Another. Fine. Hey, think I could have one of these? <laughs> Dream on. My lips have already touched it. If you want an indirect kiss, you'll have to be more clever than that. That's that's not what I want. I'm just hungry, bro. Oh, yeah? So you won't eat anything my lips have touched either? Of course not. Bet. You were eyeing this cream puff, right? 
Would you like me to feed you a bite? Oh, heavens below, yes. I am oh my god. Of yours, take a bite. I casually take a bite out of the cream puff. What do you think you're doing? Mmm, oh. <laughs> delicious. It's so good. I've never had anything like it. Let me try. Oh, you want a bite, even though my lips have touched it. Mm -hmm. What is it, Esther? I... I don't want it after all. Whatever you say. Well, if you don't want it, then I guess I can have some now, right? Hey, hold on! Mmm, it's really delicious. Nothing tastes better than food with a twist of eldritch magic. It's a shame you don't want any of it. What's it gonna be? Watch me eat your favorite dessert or suffer an indirect kiss? The most defeated. What was that? I order you to hand over the cream puff. Oh, you order me. Very well, my king. I offer over the other half the cream puff to her eager hands, but instead... Mm -hmm. Oh! That's... I forgot I was hand-feeding her. Her lips are insanely soft against my fingers. Mm, that really yeah, is. It's not what I expected oh, to happen. Oh. She's damn cute when she drops her sadistic front. I do more, but I feel those hus staring jaws daggers into my back. They'll tear my head off if I let this go on. Shouldn't we save some of this for the play? It'll hurt the performance if we eat the entire set, won't it? I suppose. Mm -hmm. Very well. Let us resume the play. As you wish. Alright, let's uh, get to that next page. Oh. No light beside a window. Off. 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 Good thing I saw that the last second there. Slowly. Very slowly. Don't make a mistake. Damn the night and morrow scornful. Wicked morning unremorseful. Why tonight must I be mournful for ambitions unfulfilled? After all my preparations, all the daylights I have killed, why is it it us only still? Oh, why are my wishes unfulfilled? Oh, oh, oh. oh. yeah, the yeah, the, creep, the creepers in the window still. Also, that is taking a long shower, I just realized. Oh, your greed is brave and tomb and crypt in which you die, it's within your grace you cry. Mm -hmm. Dearest host, the end is nigh. Hmm. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Oh, there's a lot I gotta read. That is... This is a straight-up, like, long play that I must get through, apparently, just to get a smooch. It's definitely more than I've done in my real life. Wretched guest, you've come to mock me. For bemusement, thou hast... Or, wast hawking? That's not... That's not proper English, is it? And so in the town you stalked me to watch my schemes fall apart. Strip thy mask, apologize, then hastily depart. Leave thee just my broken heart. Leave not a else in whole of or part. I wear no mask, no witness, for it was thee who had mm. permit this golden guest to own the dimness of the city mm -hmm. of Catil. Go, for I'm the king in oh. your long shadows on your till, and whose shadow you're in still. That's that's not good. That's that's bad for me. That's very bad for me. Oh, why is her? What is that? The bodice? Is that the bottom part of the dress? The bodice? I... Oh, uh oh. Okay, it didn't kill me. Thank God that did not kill me. I thought I was dead for letting go there. But the under like mesh wire of a dress that big is the the bodice. I feel like that's right. Uh, draw thy blade from mine contusion. My life reaches its conclusion. Cruelty matched by your delusion that you truly are the king. Yes, you would have granted all my wishes, not forsaken me. If indeed you were the king, why would you have murdered me? But I've granted all your wishes, I'm afraid. I disagree. Uh -huh. All alone you are with all of your remaining family. She has, she's got some good sing-song going. <laughs> 
wear that mask and robe for the rest of all your life indeed. Okay. Strong will fall to illness, haunt you too with stillness and none left alive to witness my ascension to your till. And from the catacombs shall spill the cry oh. of innocence laid still he heard from lady and from smithy and from throne to peasant mill. What if she messed up? Would that ruin this play? Unprecedented in the history of your till. Wales, unlike they'll ever be again in dark you till. Set your invitation. Oh no. Brought the king to black you till. Is that, is that the end? Do I get my smooch? I better get my smooch. Actually, wait, I'm dying. I'm about to die, that's right. You're all too kind. Listen to that applause, uh -huh. dearest. The euphoria of a flawless recitation. Yeah, yeah, definitely, I agree, I agree. But, um, backtracking, am I about to die? Innumerable voices make up the cacophony of cheering outside my door. Fanatical revel revelry, screams of terror and sadistic amusement, all amidst thunderous applause. The king has come. Smiles, dearest, smiles! Mm -hmm. Aren't you proud of yourself? What? Why didn't you use a st stage knife? I'm really bleeding out here. My blood streams from a gaping wound in my chest. My abdomen is unseen. To sure you stay in character, call it method acting, if you will. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'd rather not. Maybe go to a hospital now? Oh, with sweet sorrow, the curtain falls. Mm -hmm. And the show begins. What do you mean by that? The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. What? Do this, and I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. Aren't I dying right now? You mean the smooches, you promised. Plural, you said you'd give me two. Even now, that's really all you can think about? Yeah, I may be dying, but I don't... I know, I'm not stupid, alright? Your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound. And you're worried about smooches? You are... an interesting mm -hmm. human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. Allegedly. I feel like this guy's gonna have the personality left still, because he's a freaking character. The yellow sign. The yellow sign is only visible and drawable by those who have witnessed or performed the King in Yellow play. Being exposed to the yellow sign after witnessing performing the play of the King in Yellow will cause a permanent irreversible obsession with the King, her court, and Carcosa. The same obsession persists after death. If you are content to spend your life with the king, dim all lights, leaving your window open, and light blackfire candles. Off, off. Draw this shape below without the X. Uh, no, no, it's a question mark with one. Behold the yellow mm -hmm. sign. Become my slave. My eternal captive audience. I am entropy. Disorder. Excuse Where me. Are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Monuments. Nations, I'm doing a cult right now, aren't I? Relationships. Uh oh. You're a plague, aren't you? Some of these husks have wedding rings on their fingers. I steal the hearts and minds of the rich oh, are powerful no. to break them. Litter my court with them like gold dust. Oh, but why me of all people? I'm broke. Because I am the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Your relationship with my sister was. Oh, one of those you, things. you horrible creature! Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of clout amongst the night oh, oh. and shrewd wealthy types. You would have been an incredibly powerful servant who would have oh. been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. You least, monster. Until that reality ended and you undid all of my hard work. All of my followers that I had stolen this... from Lynetta. Gone in an instant. And I had no choice but to abandon that reality. And so you came There's here to get to some type of revenge. God damn it. In this reality, 
I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. Just as I've stolen every member of my entourage. Crap. All the husks. They're bleeding from their chest onto their elegant robes, just like me. All these people, why? Why? Because it's what I do. Be a horrible person? No, I mean, why are they still here? Aren't they kind of third wheeling our moment here? Kick them out. Huh? <laughs> I just... <laughs> what? Such a defiant tone. Why aren't you under the effects of the yellow sign? Were you... Uh -huh. Unaffected? Did... Did the spell fail? I don't feel any different. You're supposed to be obsessed with me! Uh... I already was since I first saw you. That's why your little spell didn't work. <laughs> oh, logic. <laughs> you can try and resist it all you want, mm -hmm. but one way or another, you're my eternal slave from now on. Are you proposing to me? I accept. No, dearest, I'm not talking about <laughs> marriage. What I'm talking about is catering to my every mm -hmm. whim, anticipating my every desire, and living fully to please me. Yeah, uh, that just sounds like marriage. No! I'm talking about a servitude where you knew nothing but kiss the ground I walk on and revere me for all of time. A servitude unlike uh -huh. anything on Earth, where you never so much as think of anyone else. Uh, no, we have that on Earth, and it's called marriage. It's different! <laughs> it's not. It is too! Mm, how so? Yep. And it means preparing every single one of my meals for me, whenever I so wish. Yeah, for sure. And it means never being allowed to quit your servitude. You'll never be free of me so long as you live. Until death do us part, even? Exactly. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, but you're literally just describing being married. <laughs> I mean, hey, if that's what you want, then I'm in. Let's get married. There's Aww. You shouldn't. That's one. I, I, I stole you away. I ruined your relationship with Lynetta. I preferred you from the beginning. That's a lie. I definitely prefer Lynetta. This this one is just a spoiled brat. Anyway, we're going to keep acting like this is the one I chose. Just for me. I already broke up with Lynetta in the other reality, actually. Why? want to marry me that badly you're just trying to mm -hmm. act all smooth so i give you your second smooch and save it for our wedding day uh, you can't be serious right oh deathly he <laughs> was serious king in white <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's great. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Um, that's two endings. I actually looked at it. There is six different endings for this chapter that I need to get to unlock the next one. So, with that being said, I'm going to leave this one here. And next episode, we're going to dive into those six, and I'm going to try to get all of them as quickly as possible. So, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked uh, the commentary, the video, the series, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, doesn't mean the channel grow. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Have a lovely day.